Hey guys, we're OSMVDXReviews.com. You're watching our video review of the EZ uh, Tracer. This is a mini projector system for artists and people who are enthusiastic about uh, more on just drawing and sketching and also on reproducing stuff at a more easier manner. So as an artist, uh, sometimes when I draw something where I basically make two sketches, I draw a first sketch version, basically I just take a piece of paper and then I sketch whatever I want with it. It's kind of messy, it has a lot of lines, I'm going to erase things back and forth. And then when I'm transferring into a final version, perhaps I've, uh, I'm going to do a watercolor. I'm going to take my formal watercolor paper and then you know take my sketch, which is kind of messy with some uh, affirmative lines in the back, and then use a light source to shine it through the watercolor paper so I can trace uh, my finished line and then I can start painting the watercolor and it's going to look a little bit more professional. So if you're, if you're used to tracing arts and crafts and you're, you know, want to make things a little bit more easier, you don't want to use, uh, you know, use a light bulb under a table or anything like that, uh, or wax paper, then this is a perfect solution for you. This is called the Easy Tracer. It's a projector system. Uh, you can find this, uh, it's made by Artgraph. It says we make it easy. You can find this product actually at any art re retail location, even at Amazon.com. The retail price for the Easy Tracer is $90 for this projector unit. It basically takes a uh, image you want to you want to draw and then it projects it onto a wall and you can trace things by again taping a paper on the wall and then tracing it. So it's an art projector. Kind of interesting and kind of cool. Um, it just says it's perfect for drawing, it's perfect for painting, for posters, marrows, and more. Um, but for $90, is it really worth it? And I don't really think so. I'm going to talk about that in a few moments and uh, why. You can get this at Aaron Brothers and also at uh, Michael's, stuff like that. Uh, there you go. Perfect for arts and crafts. The box is pretty small. You can also get these in different versions. This is just a generic uh, white version. There's also different ones for different types of um, uh, professional artists out there. Uh, there you go. Some quick steps. It tells you to basically place a paper down on there and then you can see that it's going to project the image onto a wall for you to trace on the wall. So it's a little bit awkward first of all. You can also adjust the lens though to focus the product itself. So inside the box what we have is basically the projector, um, the light, you have a warranty, and that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of, you, you're probably thinking, well, like a typical projector, I need to switch lamps for this thing after a lamp gets burned out. Now, th this thing doesn't actually use any you know, special lamps, you, lamps uh, or light bulbs. You just use a typical GE or any company's uh, light bulb you find in any light source, and you just you can even buy one at a dollar store and then put it in there, and that becomes your light source. Of course, if your light's more powerful, your beam's going to be more powerful, and then you can adjust the focus and the distance of the projector by placing it back and forth to a wall. Now, the first critique I have for this thing is definitely, um, it definitely comes from the fact that it's a little bit it's a little bit strange. Like for me, when I'm projecting something and tracing something, I want to trace it on a table instead of going on a wall, and I can see how that might work. Um, it's a very interesting concept because I have to tape my paper onto a wall and then trace it, uh, because then I because I can't really put the projector tracer at any other angle um, because the bottom is exposed and the bottom is actually where you're going to put it underneath the picture to be projected on somewhere else. So unless I tape, unless I tape like a large poster onto the back of the projector and turn it upside down, I have to trace stuff on, the, on a wall and I can definitely see that some people will not be happy with that. The unit itself is very lightweight and made out of plastic. Again, the concept itself, once you look past the fact that it's called a projector, is actually really, really simple. And that's why I'm thinking it's not worth the $90. The main construction is out of plastic. There's a handle and the focus point on the front. Um, and the back, again, you just use regular light bulbs. It just magnifies the light. And then using optics and mirrors, it just magnifies it out. That's it. The light is just for turning the light bulb on and off and then magnifying it out. That's it. So it's a very, very basic concept. I'm just not sure, again, it's worth that price. Um, also, the projected results will vary dramatically. Um, taking all the instructions, it does tell you to how to use it and how to uh, project room lighting by turning off stuff. It tells you to, recommends you to use 15 watt compact uh, lights. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to show you right now how to turn this thing on and off. You can see it's the same thing on both sides. Again, the bottom is going to be where you're going to be tracing on the actual component. And it's called the tracer lights. The actual switch is on the front. It's a twist style switch, like on very old antique lights. So there you go. It's turned on. You can kind of see like a movie-like theater pattern. But once you affirmatively put it on somewhere, you can see how the, the colors on it actually go into more focus. Now again, adjusting the the actual distance of the light will actually make it um, make the picture larger or smaller on the on the wall. 
Um, but an issue we, we encountered was that, again, it's a very limited space in terms of the actual light source. So you can only get a small portion of a large poster if you're tracing it, and you're going to have to move it around a lot. And we don't see how that might work really nicely. Um, but a good solution is that if, I, if I'm making computer cards or something, I have to find images using my computer and shrink it down to a small size so the projector can more easily project the images. So I can, uh, for example, using this card, it's a little bit more easier to see. This is opposite direction right now, so it, it works both for black and white and for uh, color, of course, because it just uses mirrors and optics. And you can see how if I'm playing around with this, it's going to take the image to different angles. So it's pretty much like so. It's very much not in focus right now, so let's see if I can get it a little bit more in focus for you guys. Or perhaps the distance has a factor to do with this. Maybe I'm too far away. I'm too close away. Uh, again, I'm going to extend the size a little bit. Right now, all the lights in my house are on, so it's not going to be as clear as it should be. The blinds are on, but you can kind of see that it's, you have this faint reproduction. If I zoom on in, you can see that most of the details are there. The lines are a little bit faint. Um, around the edges especially, you get a little bit of a faint edging on some parts. There are some elements that are really clear, like there. But there are some parts that are kind of fuzzed out, which is kind of interesting to see. Um, but overall, you can definitely again adjust and play around with it, and it's, it's fairly easy to see. So the concept actually works pretty well. If I turn off the lights right now, uh, you can see it's a little bit easier to see. And the same thing with the blinds. When I remove it, you can see that it gets considerably sharper, um, and it gets a lot more realistic. And again, if I, if I play around with the actual uh, device, the screen will move because I'm playing around with the sheet of paper. A thing to note though is that this gets oh, pretty, he pretty heated pretty fast even though there are ventilation uh, grills on the side of the product so it will overheat slightly, it's a little bit worrying so uh, perhaps don't use it for as long as you know 5 hours and then leave it on forget about it. You definitely want to remember you turn this thing on and uh, be careful with it. So now let's go back to a color source, I have a uh, painting of my Great Wall of China which I have on here. An interesting thing to note is that since this is a using you know, optics and mirrors and physics, the image actually, the image that you want to project has to be placed backwards from what you typically think. So the image itself will actually face the wall when you're actually projecting it, like so, if I turn it down, so you can kind of see, uh, there you go, it's, it's facing like this uh, when I'm projecting it, which is kind of interesting. You can see that full color reproduction is pretty good. Um, of course, if you're tracing something, you're not going to really be going for tracing for color, but you will be tracing the lines, and you can see that those are uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, if I go around, I can see the sun, um, on the painting, I can see some great wall, I can see some colors, um, and, you know, a, a little stopping point in the Great Wall of China, and some more information, go down, go up. So that's pretty much it, just a, is a brief look at how well it works. So overall, would we recommend this product? It does do what it promises to do. The Easy Tracer is easy, and it is a tracer. Now, unfortunately, the $90 price tag, unless you can find this for considerably cheaper, unfortunately, craft stuff typically doesn't get a lot of price reductions. Um, it is hard for us to justify it, and that's really because the concept of this thing is way too basic. Even though it's called a quote quote projector, it really just magnifies your stuff and then place it on the wall, which isn't very convenient in the first place. And second of all, um, if it's going to cost $90, I can really just want to build something myself for maybe $10 or $15 by going out and getting a lamp and then placing it down on a coffee table that's made out of glass and then tracing stuff underneath, again, using my traditional method because, again, $100 is quite frankly too much for a light bulb and a piece of glass. So there it is, our review of the Easy Tracer. Um, if you have to have one, it does work well, and you can see that the, the results are quite satisfactory. Um, for more information, please check out our full video review and our article we'll post on osmvtxreviews.com. That's been our video review of the Easy Tracer Projector by Artgraph. Thanks for watching.